हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे आई वाज वर्किंग ऑन वन यूज केस विद इन जीरा एंड दैट यूज केस वाज बेसिकली टू डू समथिंग विद द इवेंट्स नाउ फॉर्चुनेटली और मे बी अनफॉर्चुनेटली देर इज एक्चुअली अ टेम्पलेट इन जीरा कॉल्ड एज इवेंट प्लानिंग एंड दिस template is something that i thought i will uh, show you and we will of course you know take a look at it together what we'll do we'll uh, try to you know use this template and this is what i just want to give you my feedback on this template and whether it is useful or not i've made plenty of videos on templates in the past but uh, i think most of the templates are good to just get familiar with jira but these templates often on are not really close to what you want to do because i mean if you're using a tool like jira then you're using it to customize like you want to basically map your process but even planning template uh, it, it it looks interesting and as the name suggests you basically want to, to use a project in jira to uh, plan your event so let us see what we can do with this event planning template so i will name this as event planning project and uh, okay there is already a new event planning project and uh, show more it says we want to team manage no we want a company managed project and uh, create a project let us create a project and uh, let us see how it how it works so it is a jira work management based project and uh, it says here ideating planning in review done okay let us create uh, let us say i have a new jira webinar I, i'm basically trying to use this as someone who has never used a tool like jira someone who is totally new can i use it can i not use it let us see so let us say i have a new jira webinar on 15th of september right uh now there, there is of course i know that there is a new maybe i have done some jira courses maybe i follow ravi sagar videos and i know how jira works little bit so i have a new task and uh, i'm assuming it is a task because uh, by default oh basically that is the only option now i may want to start the work but it is not always obvious to maybe um add more information to it so let us say we click on it so we add a new inform like we add more information that this task is to plan the work for an upcoming webinar right now when you are uh, using this task for planning something you may want to add some dates now it may not be always obvious in the beginning like which date field to use now what you can do uh you can of course you now go to the list view you can of course go to the calendar view and you can uh, i mean ideally if you're doing something in jira maybe you will uh, start by clicking on this calendar view so basically what i'm trying to say here is that if we are saying that use this template for event planning maybe i mean because i know jira how jira works so i'm not really complaining but maybe we can tweak the these things slightly maybe we can uh, create some kind of a short summary page or some information that okay do this to that to that blah 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 like some help kind of a thing so that that template can be used more uh, or basically this project using the template can be more effective ultimately we are doing things in jira and i know that or basically if if you don't know if you are trying to do this uh, event planning work maybe you can use the due date let us say this due date or let us say this event is actually on 15th of november of september so that is my event date and maybe i have to do everything by that particular uh, date if i go to the list view i can see here that uh, the due date will be filled in for me now of course you can do a bit more you can add uh, you can actually assign it to someone but at this stage or maybe you can change the priority you can also add labels you can also see 
or you can actually add a comment which is great and uh, like let us start the work i mean to be honest jira work management is awesome and i think some of these features are coming to jira uh, announce boards so i hope they also add the list view or uh, the board view or i mean board is here calendar view so we we also have a calendar view where i can see if i go to the september month that i have this task and i can then take a look at the timeline now the thing is when you are i think this timeline view is usually uh i mean people want to use this timeline view because they want to uh plan something a lot of project managers they have some background of using ms project and they expect some kind of gantt chart or some kind of roadmap view so if my event is happening in september <clears throat> maybe uh i will uh, plan i will start planning that i want to start the work uh, sometime right now and uh, if i look at the options here i can of course you know um do few things like i can basically filter but the roadmap view will let you or the timeline view will will let you break down the work for example for this september uh, event you need to first uh, prepare uh, the um let us say banners you also want to uh let, let us say you're doing some online webinar and you also need to write the details you also need to i i hope if they can uh, like give us the option to you know just create these items one by one like you know if you press enter you're taken to the next task that you can create and what else maybe we want to send uh, marketing emails and so on so basically what we are doing we are actually trying to break up this work and uh, because we need more space let me just change the due date of this uh, task and i can then uh, set uh, some kind of a timeline for the sub task as well and i can also create uh, maybe some kind of uh, like a dependency which is awesome so this is great and this view will also show you some risk if there is a risk in your dependency so so the thing is that if you are using the event management event planning um template it is not really different from uh, what you normally do with the uh, other projects and i've mentioned this in a lot of my videos i think uh, these templates actually create more problems in some cases because uh, when you're using a project like this you are in a way uh, creating a lot of configurations that are uh, uh, duplicate i mean you are actually going to create duplicate uh, configurations and these configurations will of course uh, add up and you will have to clean it up and it is not really an easy task so what you need to do you basically need to make sure that whenever you create a new project you create a you you created using shared configurations all right so let us go back to the workflow and what i want to do is i want to show you the workflow so the workflow itself is not really in a way uh i mean to be honest this is like a very generic workflow that you can use for almost any kind of process right ideating planning in review done so nothing much is happening here when it comes to the event planning let us take a look at the 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 create issue screen so we have summary we have attachment we have due date we have description assignee priority nothing that says okay we have something called as budget and cost this is interesting maybe we can use this maybe i have a budget of uh, let us say 100 or or let us say 1200 something let us say 1200 pounds because i have some budget and uh, i can also keep track of my cost so basically you can do few things here the thing is that uh, um so the, so the, so, the, so what i want to talk about is what i want to share what i want to uh say that or maybe it it could be a feedback for uh, at last year i guess uh don't hate me but i think we have to work with the users if i'm creating i mean the, the, the very the very minimum that i expect is some tweaks 
or not even tweaks, how do I how do I say it? At least somewhere a description of how to use this project for event planning. And uh, to be honest, it is nowhere close to any. I mean, you can anyways you, you can use this project for marketing, I guess, <laughs> and you can use it for uh, maybe simple task management. It has nothing to do with uh, any event. Maybe the due date. Um, maybe add some details here, like on the summary view, or maybe just create a page somewhere in Confluence, maybe not Confluence, or have some details somewhere, maybe in the project description, some checklist, that is it. I think some bare minimum checklist is uh, is, is always uh, needed, and it will be appreciated by new Jira users who are not really sure on how to maybe get started. Because if you let them do things here, like for example, if I go to the board, and if I start creating items here, uh, it may not be super obvious for everyone in the beginning, and uh, and yeah, that is it. That is all I wanted to you know share. And I'm making this video because uh, when I work with my clients, they in a way they know that they want to use Jira. They have done the research. They have heard good things about it. But they when but when they start using it, they are of course complaining, and that is why. There's always a need for Jira consultants like me, which is in a way a good thing. But at the same time, uh, Jira is like a very powerful, flexible tool. And there are uh, like a lot of features that uh, are sometimes overwhelming. And there are things like templates that are, to be honest, not super effective. And uh, if you start using a lot of templates, or if you, if, if you start creating projects in the beginning, without no uh, guidance or support or uh, some authority, I guess, then you will end up with uh, plenty of projects with uh, unique, not unique, but their own set of configurations. And it is actually a big pain for Jira administrators. And uh, uh, we should highly encourage everyone, like ev even though uh, you might know how Jira works, you are a good experienced Jira administrator sometimes when you receive a request to, to create a project I, I mean first of all you, you shouldn't really have too many admins but in any case don't be tempt don't really respond and try to do things very quickly when it comes to creating a project whenever whenever you receive a request to to a new project try to let them know that okay we can only create a project with these configurations and publish it somewhere so that uh, people are aware okay if we have to use jira and whenever whenever we talk about uh, rolling out jira for a new team there should be some discussion i'm not really saying spend months or years but at least some discussion with that team okay you want to use jira great you should use jira or maybe you can use jira but let us try to understand uh, uh, what you do right now what are your current challenges and Try to figure out how Jira can effectively, how Jira can be effective for them for their use case. All right, that is it. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye bye.